Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 476. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook 475 to 477. Hey, we have a great video here. This is uh, used in statistics and accounting and finance all over the place. Weighted average cost. Now, this particular example is from a transactional data set. So here we are. We need to do some uh, uh, calculate the average cost for product 9. Now what would that entail? Here's the transaction. On this day we bought 10 of them at $10.30. On this day we bought 12 of them at 10 and as we go down there's there's a bunch of them. So literally what we'd have to do is we'd have to go 10 times uh, this and then add this times this. Get that total. That's the total amount we spent for product nine and then we'd somehow have to go through this column and find add up all of the tens, twelves, etc. and use that in the denominator. Right? So in statistic you'd see a uh, sum of qu uh, quantity times price divided by the sum of the, the quantities. In accounting we used to you hear about this all the time, weighted average cost. So let's see how to do this. We're actually going to have to use some product with a condition and we're going to have to use some if to count up conditionally all all of the quantities purchased for the denominator. Now, the there's lots of ways to do this and I actually have a, another type of formula over here, an array formula using control shift enter. You could also add an extra column, which is probably what most people do, but if you have huge data sets and they're all over the place and you just want one simple table, boy, this formula is very nice. I'm going to actually scoot this over here so we have a little bit more room. Equals some product. Now, really we want to uh, take this column and this column and multiply them and then it will multiply corresponding elements and add. Ah, but we have a condition, so we need to somehow tell some product only pick the, uh, in this case, product one, right? And then we'll copy it down. So we're going to say double negative, that's to convert trues and falses to ones and zeros to do multiplying, open parentheses. The first condition is this column. Click the first column, control shift down arrow, and then hit the F4 key to lock it, because as we copy it down, we, we don't want this range to move. And you want to ask the question, whenever that's equal to this um, cell one to my left, which has the product name, close parentheses. Now that's array number one. You can see that when we put a comma, it says, hey, now give me array two. Once we've established the true, uh, uh, true false pattern or in our case 1 0 0 0 0 0 1 we can simply put our uh, two ranges in here control shift down arrow f4 comma control shift down arrow f4 now all this is going to do this is the denominator so when you're you're adding up this times this plus this times this that'll give you the total cost for the for all of the um, product nines. I'm just going to show you what this, I'm going to control enter. This is not an array because we use some product. This one over here is an array. Now, so we have the total amount uh, that we paid for product one over this time period. And this is a big data set. This goes to like 172, right? So now we need to add all these up and that's pretty straightforward. We do division in the denominator and then we'll use sum if. You know, sum if it says the range. I always get confused by the sum if. If you have 2007, you should start using sum ifs with an S because the screen tips are just uh, easy to understand. But it says range, criteria, sum range. Well, usually you can figure out sum if because that's the sum range. So if that's the sum range, this has to be the criteria range. So I click there, Control Shift Down Arrow F4. What is our criteria here through that range? Comma, one cell to the left. So you can see right now we have our criteria, which would be product one. So it'll get a series of trues and falses. I'm going to type a comma, and now it says sum range. So I simply, for the denominator, we need quantity purchased. Control Shift Down Arrow F4. Close parentheses. And there you go. That formula right there is a great way to calculate weighted average cost for uh, from transactional data. Double click and send it down, and boom, just like that. You're working in accounting or finance or whatever. You just impressed your boss with a uh, formula that does it quickly. All right, we'll see you next trick.